This one comes from Joel. It's titled Overheating Fan. I saw your video HP Pavilion G7, but I don't understand how you took out the keyboard for cleaning. I really get scared as I might break something. I do have my ceiling fan on and a laptop cooler, but it still gets heated very quickly within 10 to 15 minutes. What can I do? Well, Joel, yeah, that uh, HP video I did a while back, I don't know if that showed the steps or not, but uh, I can point you to a few places. Before I do that, I just wanted to give you some basic information. I've got a HP here. Now, this may be different than yours, but if you look on the side here, you'll see this uh, these vents right here. And um, this is where the uh, computer expels the heat generally. And if you keep looking around, you may find other ones. And on the bottom as well, there's a vent down here. In this case, this is the intake vent here, and it sucks air from the bottom, and then it expels it out the side here. And if you put your hand there, you can feel that it gets hot and it blows. And if it doesn't blow, that means that your, your fan's not working properly, and you may have to change that. More about that in a minute. But the best thing that you can do to help uh, get your laptop cooler is to actually take it just a regular vacuum cleaner and unplug this of course and then start sucking these vents out and even though you might not be able to see anything in there you might get out like uh, pet hair and dirt and dust and you can even a little use a little brush and brush it as you're vacuuming a lot of uh, repair shops recommend that you blow it with canned or compressed air I don't like that idea for laptop because it actually takes those little dust balls and pushes it in even deeper and with a vacuum cleaner a lot of times you can just suck it out so that would be a good thing to start with and see if that doesn't help you and if you need to go further I can show you some resources if we go to the web here this is the HP support center for professionals for your G7 notebook I guess you got the 1000 series I'm not sure but there's some support documentation here and if you poke around for your model you'll probably be able to find it here's a page here for reducing heat inside the pc to prevent overheating and if i click on that it takes me to a document and it talks about you know cleaning the fan and putting it on a cooling pad and that sort of thing there's even a little video here it tells of the symptoms and it shows dirt that's actually collected on the the fins of the heat sink and that's what is right underneath this cover here is the picture they're showing there and then this one here is actually dirt and debris inside the actual fan which lies underneath the keyboard and like you said in your email you're going to have to take the keyboard out if you want to get to that and you can see just by this picture that uh, it's almost impossible for this thing to breathe because there's so much dirt and debris. And that's pretty common. I mean, I've taken apart a lot of laptops that are even worse than this. And I've seen them where the dust balls get so heavy in here that it actually stops the blades from turning. Anyway, they talk about using compressed air and they also... Um, they also mention using a vacuum cleaner, and that's what I recommend, so you're not pushing the dirt even deeper. If that fails, um, let's say that your fan isn't working because it's burned out or, you know, you have so much dirt in there that it's uh, stalling it out. You can also poke around here for the service manuals, and here's the service manual for your machine, the G7, and only if you feel comfortable with this not everybody is going to want to do this but uh, let me find the page here there's the table of contents and there's removal and replacement procedures um, if you look down through here you can see here's the fan and heat sinks if I click on here um, it actually steps you through how to take apart the actual laptop and fix the problem and uh, it gives you some pictures. Not everybody's going to feel comfortable doing this, and most repair techs will 
reference these pages for certain models if you're not used to doing it but uh, it shows you every screw and if you just still don't feel comfortable of course don't do it take it to a repair shop and let them do it for you but uh, this document talks about um, you know putting new uh, thermal paste on the heat sink and things that you can do to uh, fix your problem and the link is here I'll leave it in the description for you so I hope that helped you out Joel I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.